Well, 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 you're back again. Let me show you how you can create an in-cell vertical bar chart that looks like this. We're going to start off with highlighting the area where you want to insert that vertical bar chart to and press Ctrl-1 on your keyboard to open up format cell. Once you're in there, make sure you're in the alignment tab. On the horizontal, you're going to change this to center and you're going to swing this orientation to say 90 degrees like this and click on OK. Once that's done, go ahead and select the very first cell where you're going to insert the vertical cell to and type the following REPT formula like this. Double quote, pipe, double quote, comma, and you're going to populate those pipe with a sum of the entire column for this particular column like that. And then close parenthesis for sum, close parenthesis for REPT, and you hit enter. And this is what it's supposed to look like. It's pretty hideous right now. You're going to have to change this font type to something called pay bill here let me scroll all the way down here it should be somewhere here uh, jklmnop this one here and then all you have to do to apply the same formula and the formatting across just drag on your fill handler and it looks like that Ooh, looks kind of scary here let me scroll this down a bit taller so that it fits nicely in there like that and at the same time let's get rid of this error message here is slowly popping in here like that and it should look something like that. Now to color your vertical bar chart, go ahead and highlight your bar chart like this. Go to conditional formatting, new rule, use formula. And this is the formula that I'll be using. If you like a copy of this formula, please refer to the description of this video. And then after that, go to format, go to font. I'm going to highlight the maximum value range to be red like that. And click OK, OK, and there you go. Now for the lower range, Go to new rule, use formula, and the formula I'll be using will be this one here. Again, it'll be on the description of this video. Go format, font. I'm going to color the lower end with a green color like that. And okay. And there you go. Job complete.